Good afternoon and thank you very much for staying with KTN. This is KTN Live at One, coming to you live from the Standard Group Centre right here in Nairobi. It is the 11th of May 2013. Welcome to the program, Amir Kunjoka. Just to keep you updated with what has been happening in the rest of the morning today, uh, the cabinet vetting that is gone going at the Kenyatta International Conference Centre in Nairobi. And what has been happening there, Hassan Wario, the cabinet secretary nominee uh, in the Ministry of Sport, has, be, has been vetted already. Uh, what's going on right now is that uh, David Chilcher, the cabinet secretary nominee in the Ministry of of energy is being grilled by the uh, committee on appointments right now. Uh, what will happen later? We'll, we are expecting Felix Kiptarus Koske, who is the cabinet secretary nominee in the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock. And later on, I think uh, he'll be the last person to be vetted today. Uh, is Najib Balala, the cabinet secretary nominee in the Ministry of mining let's now keep you up to date with news just in the kenyatta national hospital has announced the death of the conjoined twins who captured the attention of the nation early this week the conjoined twins who were admitted at the kenyatta national hospital's neonatal intensive care unit this morning at uh, 105 AM. Kenyatta National Hospital says the doctors, nurses and the entire medical team offered the best care available under the circumstances but unfortunately lost the twins due to persistent cardiac distress. May God rest their souls in eternal peace and give the family strength to bear the loss. We'll keep you updated with what and the latest in that scenario. Moving on, relative calm has returned to Ramu in Mandera County after clashes that engulfed the area for the better part of yesterday, spilling into the evening. Mandera County Commissioner Michael Oletialal says only two people have been confirmed dead, though a section of residents claim four people lost their lives. The clashes have left property worth thousands of shillings destroyed and houses burned down. The county commissioner says 12 people have been admitted to Mandera District Hospital nursing several injuries. Tialal confirmed that five more casualties are admitted with serious injuries, most, most of them resulting from bullet wounds. Security agencies, including the Kenya Defense Force and police, have been mobilized to patrol the area and restore calm. The gun battle that lasted more than eight hours non-stop displaced an unknown number of civilians who sought refuge at the district commissioner's office, Mandera Police Station and Town. This morning, Deputy President William Ruto met with leaders from Mandera and Garissa in his office in Nairobi in attempts to find an urgent solution to the northern Kenya insecurity crisis. Well, let's move on to another story that is really worrying the country now. Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula says he has been uh, threatened over the Bungoma and Busia escalating gang attacks. Wetangula said this morning that leaflets warning of attacks on his compound in Bungoma were dropped at his gate last night. This came amid reports of more gang attacks on two village, uh, villages called Musikoma and Namwacha last night. Last evening, Deputy President William Ruto said that the government will deploy more police officers in the region and their weapons will not be decora uh, decorative purposes. Following a four-hour-long closed-door meeting with all the Western leaders, Inspector General of Police and top police bosses from Bungoma and Busia, the Deputy President said security agencies will not negotiate with armed groups but will counter the gangs with equal measure of force to ensure that security was restored. Na mimi nataka ni muambie, kwa sababu hawa wakora, najua pengine hata wako katika mkutano huu. Mimi nataka ni muambie, mimi nataka ni muambie, kwa sababu askari tumeleta hapa. Askari wako na bunduki ya kutosha Na hiyo bunduki si sanamu Ni kama naelewana Mimi nataka niwambie Mwananchi ambaye Awe peke yake Ama awe katika kikundi Wamechukua silaha Ili kuatarisha maisha ya mwananchi Ama mali yake Sisi tutakabiliana na wao Kwa njia ambayo Wataona chamtema kundi
The deputy president also reassured residents that police officers who have stayed in the area for more than three years will be transferred after claims that police response to the gang attacks was wanting. We want to put on notice here and now. Any police officer who comes to Bungoma, na afikiri amekuja kufanya biashara, hatuta angoja inspector general. Sisi wenyewe tutasema arudi kwa headquarters. Several people have lost their lives at schools injured following attacks by criminal gangs across the country, prompting the United Nations to raise concerns, saying that they are closely monitoring the situation. Najma Ismail for KTN. Still on matters concerning insecurity, Nairobi gangs were not to be left in the escalating countrywide insecurity as a gang with guns unleashed terror at Mugai Estate in Kitangela, where they shot dead a woman and stole household items. The gang gained entry into the estate after cutting through the fence. They stole electronics from three houses in the estate and shot a 40-year-old woman in the chest after she raised the alarm. The injured was rushed to Shalom Hospital in Athi River. Rungai Police Division Deputy OCPD Charles Rotich say the police have launched investigations into the matter and are searching for members of the armed gang that used a getaway car to carry, out, to carry away their loot. A month ago, a middle-aged lady was shot dead in the same estate under similar circumstances. to the coast region now and police in Mombasa have three days to wrap up the investigations into a matter in which 11 women and a foreigner are believed to have been found engaging in and recording pornographic acts. The 11 women and a foreigner identified at a Swedish national were arrested in Nyali in Mombasa and arraigned in court yesterday. It is alleged that they had engaged in por pornographic acts that involved a dog. However, this could not be verified in court. The apartment in which they were found is suspected to operate as a brothel. Police confiscated various items including cameras at the scene of the arrest. The Swedish national arre arrived in the country as a tourist days ago, the accused are scheduled to appear in court once again on Monday. And now on the ongoing tussle over demands for salary increment by legislators, the Kieni member of parliament, Kanini Kega, has asked his colleagues in parliament to put service ahead of remuneration as leaders are called to serve selflessly. Kanini was speaking in Nyeri town, accompanied by the newly elected officials of the Kieni CDF board after elections in the constituency yesterday. Working for the people is a calling. So one is servant leadership. And we know for sure, uh, we as MPs, we as elected leaders, we also as uh, the CDF team, it's not... Uh, we don't put the enumeration first. It is service first, then the enumeration second. We know can problems. We know can needs. Our aim as the committee is to work together, also work with the constituents who will be giving us, giving us their needs so that we can fulfill them by carrying out projects which are actually viable so that from now, and within the next two years, we shall be able to 
have to have uh, impact seen so that we can lift Kenya to be better and have made it. Now, a status conference over the Odai election petition was held at the Nyeri Law Courts. Businessman and lawyer Peter Kingara, who came second during the elections, now wants the votes cast in the March 4th election in Odaya, recounted. Businesswoman Mary Wamboy was declared winner in the Odaya Member of Parliament race. Kingara, who was vying for the Odaya seat on a GNU ticket, claims that there were irregularities in the vote counting exercise, especially in parts of Odaya such as Mahega, Karema and Iriaine. Peter Kingara, who was accompanied by his lawyers Gevenji Marete and Karo Kimere, said he would not relent until he is convinced that the Odaya elections were held fairly. Is that in the events that the application is successful on account the parties have also proposed that the petition be heard on consecutive days between the 4th of June 2013 to 7th of June 2013. The court shall take this as tentative dates for the hearing, subject to change depending on the outcome of the pending application that is said to be had or to be highlighted on the 15th of May this year. At least now to a breather, KTN journalists who won awards at the Media Council of Kenya Awards last week were yesterday fettered by the Standard Group at a colorful ceremony in the City Hotel. The event which was attended by the group CEO Sam Chalet, the group Human Resource Director Pauline Keraide and KTN Deputy Managing Editor Emmanuel Talam, amongst other top-level managers, surprised the nine lucky contenders and a journalist each with a Samsung S3 mobile phone. The CEO encouraged them to work even harder. <laughs> But I thank the management for appreciating the fact that it is important to acknowledge the good work that the young men and women have done in the last couple of months. We want to urge all the winners that even if we don't celebrate you next time, or maybe you do a story that you thought that this was really someone should have patted my back, that inside you there's a certain drive that no one can take away from you. And uh, that drive is that whatever I do, whatever I put my hands to, I will seek to put out an excellent job. Every single day, I win today better than I won yesterday. Go for excellence. You're doing it for yourself, like God meant it to be. So, don't become an average, okay? Do not become an average. Averages don't transform institutions.